What is Music Garage? Music Garage is not a music school. It's a musician's resource and training center that provides kids in the Music Garage Kids program with the opportunity to play concerts. You know, I started Music Garage because I really felt like a lot of kids need a place to belong. They're musicians and they want to jam and they want to play music and this gives them like a sacred space <laughs> where they get to do that and it's like becomes like very special. Our music director is one of the most skilled musicians in the state. He's an internationally renowned uh, musician and he sets the benchmark with the kids. And we communicate with the teachers by telling them what songs they're playing. And then the teachers can look at the songs and go, oh, this is a Stevie Ray Vaughan song. And it's a C minor pentatonic scale. That becomes the fodder for the music lesson in private to teach the kid the pentatonic scale. So that's how our kids learn theory. We use the music to teach the theory and not the theory to teach the music. Right, but it's in seven. Yeah. Right, yeah, it's a metronome song though. Yeah. You have to practice Rush with the metronome. Like not practicing Rush with the metronome is like crazy, man. Okay, so let's, let's try it with my hand metronome. I really would have my own metronome. Hi, I'm Terrence Hansen. I'm director of Music Garage, and uh, I'm uh, really uh, excited when I get to work with the kids um, on the songs because I know that each song has a lesson in the, uh, the, the form and the theory, um, the rhythmic structure. Um, and depending on the style that the kid's into, one kid may be into uh, heavy metal music, another kid may be into uh, funk. And uh, we, we uh, kind of have the kids rotate through uh, the different songs and uh, they all get a chance to learn a new style and uh, the lesson that is in that style. Uh, the Music Garage program is structured in four 11-week seasons a year. Um, they go for 11 weeks and then we give them two weeks off. And in the 11 weeks, the kids start off and they choose songs. They submit their, their uh, songs that they want to play. And each one of the kids is given an assignment to sort of captain that song. And this way they learn different styles of music because not all of our kids are into metal. Not all of our kids are into the Beatles. Not all of our kids are into British rock or uh, country rock, Allman Brothers, etc. These guys bring their own taste to the table and they get to learn different styles of music in this way by sharing what their interest is. And they also have to come through for each other and learn each other's songs. So a kid has to come out of himself or herself to learn a style of music that they may not really dig, you know, and they'll, they'll like do something that they wouldn't normally do. That is an act of generosity and kindness and teamwork and selflessness that really gives the power to the song. And that is an awesome thing. One unique um, aspect of this program is, I mean, at least for us, is we have a son who is 10 and a daughter who is 16 and they're both able to be in this program. And that's been fantastic for us as a family. They're learning all different aspects of being in a band, what it means to be in a band. Not just being a guitarist or a singer, but what it means to really be a member of a band. So all the kids play two shows a season at the end of the 11-week season. They learn, oh, maybe, depending upon how fast they learn and, and what their skills are, an average of maybe four or five songs in a season. And we do a two-set, 100-minute show. So in two 50-minute sets, each kid's gonna have about four songs. And they're songs that they're interested in playing, their music garage friends are interested in playing, and they're learning all different styles of music. He's got to work with world-class musicians. He's played stages all over Utah. Amazing opportunities for any musician, let alone kids. So you've got your show band. Kids are playing festivals. It's awesome. They're playing the seasonal shows two every 11 weeks, right? eight in a year and then like last year our kids played 15 festivals in a summer no gigging band in this city gets that many festivals and it's not just because our kids are cute and they are cute they're awesome and it's about not the novelty of kids playing rock music on stage it's the majesty of them playing it well 
Playing shows really, really is a confidence booster. It's, I mean, it's a bunch of kids. You get, a, you get a play. It's really cool to be like out on stage, you know, doing what you love. Number one. Performing together. Creating music. And then seeing like all the people cheering for you and like screaming for you. Uh, all these great songs, whenever you want. When someone that you have never met before comes up to you after a show and says, you really did well. It's, it's just a lot of fun. It's a great thing to do and we get all these great shows. I really love this song or, you know, you really, whatever. Music Garage is such a cool community. It's just really an amazing feeling and there's really nothing like it in the whole world. It really is a great thing to, uh, that they made. It's been, it's been fantastic. <laughs>